From building-sized T-Rexes to packs of bloodthirsty velociraptors, Jurassic Park is full of amazing creatures that haven't walked the Earth for over 65 million years. But there's just one problem. There isn't a single real dinosaur in the entire park. We're told that the dinosaurs were cloned from DNA pulled from mosquitoes that were preserved in amber. The problem is that DNA would have decayed after 65 million years. And even if it hadn't, a mosquito would have DNA from multiple species of dinosaurs, not just one. The creatures we see in Jurassic Park aren't real dinosaurs. They're lab experiments. Hybrid creatures pieced together from bits of reptilian, amphibian, and even avian DNA and formed into our popular conception of what a dinosaur looks like. The Jurassic Park scientists have already proven they can do this. The Indominus Rex from Jurassic World was a hybrid of multiple different DNA strands that were spliced together to create an entirely new species. So why would they stop there? Why not build the entire park this way? This way, all dinosaurs could be created to your exact need and specification. That's why the Velociraptors are the size of humans, despite the fossils showing that they were actually the size of chimpanzees. The movie all but tells us this is true. John Hammond, the eccentric billionaire who built the park, admits he started his career with a mechanical flea circus meant to fool children. Jurassic Park is the same thing, just on a much grander scale. He didn't bring Dr. Grant and Dr. Sattler to the park to see the dinosaurs. He invited them to see if he could fool them. He knew that if he could make the experts believe they'd created real dinosaurs, there's a dinosaur, then the public would believe it too. The DNA demonstration is nothing but a bit of showmanship. Convince people that what they're seeing is real, just like the flea circus. The simple truth is that Jurassic Park is nothing more than one more con from a man who's built his life on them. He can get away with it because he knows that it doesn't matter if the dinosaurs are real or not. The only thing that matters is if you believe that they are. What do you think? <laughs>